for us, it has been about transparency um, on the good, the bad, and the ugly. I think it has been um, making sure that people know they're doing a good job. Um, I don't know how many of you are parents, but I know when I became a parent, the advice was nine parts praise, one part criticism. Now I will tell you, I did not exactly subscribe to that theory entirely, <laughs> but I think, I, I think positive reinforcement, and that doesn't mean saying work is good when it's not. It doesn't mean saying you've done an incredible job when they have it. But when people do amazing things or really, really good things, you just need to say, you know what, that was really good. It was a really good idea that is going to change the trajectory. You know, one of the engineers came up with a really good idea yesterday um, about, you know, what we might do in sort of the next iteration of Quibi. And it was a really good idea. So you just need to celebrate that. I think celebrating good ideas, even if, even if we A-B tested and it falls flat, it was still a really good idea. So I do think this positive reinforcement, particularly in this environment. The other thing is, I think we all have to watch um, a little bit of the mental health of our workforce. Our 20-somethings who live alone in LA, many of them moved to LA to work for Quibi and they are in a one bedroom apartment. These people are going crazy. They're going crazy. And we've got to figure out you know, how we can do virtual events. I've encouraged people if they need to go home for two months and you know, hang out at their parents, not that that's exactly an exciting thing for people to do, but it might be better than hanging out alone in their apartment. So I think you have to think of people's lives holistically right now, um, because honestly, if you are unhappy in your living situation or you're, you know, you're trying to homeschool kids while you're trying to do a startup, I mean, we have to sort of figure out like, how we can help people in a more broad sense, particularly now.